Her Honor, Black County Governor of Saskatchewan. Good evening and welcome to the 22nd Annual Lieutenant Governor Heritage Award. Your Honour, Mayor Fougere, special guests, award recipients, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ingrid Kazakoff and I am CEO of Heritage Saskatchewan and I am delighted to be your MC this evening. On behalf of Heritage Saskatchewan, I welcome you to this very special evening where we will celebrate outstanding contributions in the area of built heritage with awards being bestowed upon deserving recipients. Hello everyone and welcome to Government House. Uh, I never know if I should say good afternoon or good, uh, good evening at this time of day, but welcome anyway. And welcome to Treaty 4 Territory. It is always a great pleasure to host the Heritage Awards at this National Historic Site and what I think is truly a Saskatchewan treasure. I'm grateful to Heritage Saskatchewan for managing this prestigious awards uh, program and for celebrating excellence within the heritage community. Of course, heritage doesn't exist apart from us. It belongs to all of us. And thanks to the organizations and individuals we're honoring, I know more about our shared stories and the people and events that have shaped who we are today. The list of award-winning projects this year is particularly impressive, I think. I took part in the initial kind of sneak peek of the unveiling of the Legislative Dome last year when uh, hundreds of people gathered to catch a first glimpse of that shiny, brand new, well not, well, brand new redone copper dome. And I was reminded very much of my grandfather whose construction company was instrumental in raising that very dome over a hundred years ago. He would be so very proud and pleased that we chose to restore the dome in what I think is Canada's most impressive provincial legislative building. Each of the projects that we honor today represents many stories. When I saw the Saskatoon Forestry Farm, Park and Zoo on the list, I remembered a really fun evening I had there just last year. I think each one of this year's projects means so much to so many people, both past and present. I'm deeply grateful to the recipients for working so hard, for having the determination and the vision to see these projects to fruition. I want to congratulate you and I thank you for seeing the value of our built heritage, for understanding its importance, and for giving it new life for the future. As we celebrate our heritage in this building, I'm reminded of the words of the Prince of Wales, whom I hosted for a lunch here uh, back in 2012. During his first visit to the province, he said the following, we have so much to rediscover nowadays that's been lost or thrown away deliberately during the 20th century. There's no doubt that we're becoming more aware of the value of heritage structures and sites, but we can do more. Today's honorees have shown us the way. In closing, as always, it is my privilege and my pleasure to bring you greetings on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, and once again, my heartiest congratulations to the impressive award recipients. Our next award is for the category of long-term stewardship of a heritage property. And this award will go to the Addison Sod House, located near Kindersley. Back in 1911, James Addison and his family moved into his newly built two-story sod house. James was a shipbuilder and carpenter who had been determined to build a sturdy structure. He did just that, and today, more than 100 years later, the home is still being lived in. Over the years, modern comforts of plumbing, heating, and electricity have been added. Following James' passing in 1962, his daughter, Edith Gardner, lived in the house and it is now the summer home of his granddaughter, Lenore McTaggart, who is here with us today. The Addison Sod House is a provincial heritage property and a national historic site. <coughs> heritage Saskatchewan is pleased to recognize the long-term stewardship of a heritage property, the Addison Sod House. Please join me in congratulating the following. The owner, Lenore McTaggart, overseer and maintenance, Bill and Shirley Kutcher. So if you'd like to come forward.
speak to them. Congratulations to the Addison family and their descendants who are here with us today for their commitment to the long-term stewardship of a heritage property. I'm Lenore McTaggart, the owner of the Addison Sod Home. Friends of the Addison Sod Home nominated me and I was accepted for this long-term stewardship award. Um, I'm at the stage where I'm finding that the work is a little bit difficult now for me and I've decided that it's time to try to find someone to take over the Addison home if possible. So Kindersley has um, set up what we call the Friends of the Addison Sold Home Group and they're in the process of trying to um, raise some funds for, a reno for renovation of the home because the south wall is showing some signs of deterioration. So we want to hire a um, struck, wait a minute, heritage conservation structural engineer. That's a mouthful. <laughs> and so that's kind of the stage we're at. So now how, how are you related to Addison's? I am the granddaughter of his youngest daughter, Jean. What's your idea? What would you like to see happen to the property? Well, I'd like to see them Kindersley be successful and getting a group going. Um, I told them that I would gift the land to them. So now they just have to get the funding together and uh, I would like to see it established for um, everybody to enjoy. Uh, Kindersley has said that they would uh, be interested possibly in an artist in residence program or something of that nature to keep someone in the home at all times. Because we've been told by the government, like Frank Corbinmaker and so on, that that would be the best option. It's, it's quite a, uh, an interesting place. What do you find fascinating about living there? Well, <laughs> it's an old building, 106 years old, and um, I guess the thing that I find um, amazing about it is the sturdiness of the home. It's still reasonably sturdy, and I guess I feel my grandfather has done a really good job of constructing it, because when you step on the floor, it's still solid. You have tours coming through. What do the young people think of this? Are they impressed, or are they just kind of, uh? What do you think it, it, uh, it helps teach our young people? I think that they are amazed. Um, well, we all are, you know. In the what we call the lean-to of the house, you can see the actual sod walls. And uh, when I have tourists come, that's the first thing that strikes them. And then, of course, they look at the modernization of the home. And they, oh, wow, you got plumbing and electricity. And, <laughs> and that amazes them, too. And, and it looks modern, you know. Are there people looking at it from an environmental point of view that it's it's really energy efficient that kind of thing that kind of construction yes I have had that question by a lot of them and they're amazed especially when I take them into the upstairs area and they feel the heat upstairs and the difference in the temperature with below on the first floor anything else you'd like to tell us about the project and the importance of uh, keeping it going well I'd like to see it um, be kept for the younger generation, like I have grandchildren and that age and up, I'd like to see an educational program of some kind happen there at the home as well. Uh, maybe through the artists in residence, that might be a way to start something. But I'd like to see more than that too happen. Um, the only thing is, you know, with the age of the home, it's going to be difficult to maybe have 
whole classrooms come out, but maybe they could have some program out in the yard or whatever and then go from there. Like I know I did some uh, research uh, on um, what the Bell Barn has done in Indian Head and so on, and they have an educational program going there for the different age levels of the schools. And being that I'm a retired teacher, well, you know, I would really like to see something like that because there is a component in the educational uh, studies for the children that relates to sod homes. And, and I know we did have one young man come out. I can't remember how old he was. I think he was about nine or ten. And he was just absolutely fascinated with everything. And what's that? What's this? What's this? <laughs> you know? I guess that's what it's really all about, keeping that alive so that uh, it can be not just in a book or in a movie, but it's, it's, it's actually a, a real experience. People can say, that's real, and it lasted. Yeah, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, as my um, uh, grandfather's oldest son said, James Addison knew his trade, and I think he did. Like, a lot of people that have come to us and say, well, what did he do? I said, we really don't know. <laughs> uh, I take them down the cellar and I show them the size of the cellar, which is halfway or more across the kitchen. And I said, you know, all he's had is a couple big beams down there. We've had to add a couple since then for support. But, you know, it's still standing and it's not a, there's no building code. Thanks so much for your time and, and congratulations. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, it's great uh, meeting you, and uh, hopefully we can uh, come and visit the house again. We loved it. We really enjoyed it. And, of course, Edith was great. Yeah. Yeah, we'd like to have you come over again and, and help us out with that. That would be great.